In this episode, I'm going to show you 10 iPad apps for school. Let's rise. Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New podcast every Tuesday, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Rising to Be show. The only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be. Helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired so that you can reach your goals. I upload new videos and podcasts every single week, so be sure to subscribe as a riser so that you won't miss anything. Watch next week's episode at patreon.com forward slash rising to be. There's three tiers to choose from. Shop for workbooks, printables, and stickers at rising to now let's get into this episode. Star tracking your achievements and failures in your life using Rising to Be's accomplishment workbook at risingtobe.com. Stay motivated and track progress from your small and major wins. Three ways to use. Print it out, use an iPad with an Apple Pencil, and type on it right from your computer. Available in three unique color options, neutral, colorful, and pink and navy. Track job promotions, YouTube progress, certifications, podcast progress, weight loss or weight gain transformations, education or school grade journeys, life accomplishments, business success, qualifications, tracker, financial progress, and so much more. Start tracking your success today using the Accomplishment Workbook, now including 100 plus digital stickers. Buy now, pay later, using Klarna at checkout, only at risingtobe.com. In honor of National Simplify Your Life Week, today's episode is going to be about the 10 best iPad apps to simplify your life in school. In our three-part Back to School series, and in honor of our Back to School series, use code SCHOOL30 so that you can save 30% on our time blocking printable and other printables to help you have the best semester yet. Only at RiseNV.com. Sale in soon. So let's get started with part three of our series. App one, Good Notes 5. I highly recommend a note-taking app for school. It is vital you can easily create notebooks for each class you have in the semester within the app. You can change the paper style and so much more using GoodNotes 5. You can even upload worksheets your teacher gives you and complete them right in the app, allowing you to save paper and stay organized. And thanks to GoodNotes' newest update, you can now save certain images or text as a sticker in the Elements folder, which can be very convenient. With this feature, you wouldn't have to continuously write certain equations or even diagrams. You can just copy and paste them and save time while taking your notes. And I highly recommend this app to use with all of the printables and workbooks I offer at risingtobe.com. Use code SCHOOL30 for 30% off your order of products like our time blocking printable, meal planner, and so much more. Hurry, sell in soon. App 2, Google Suite. When it comes to school, Google does a great job app-wise. They definitely have a lot of them. I highly recommend you get Google Docs to write papers, Google Slides for those projects that usually require a PowerPoint presentation. And lastly, Google Drive to keep up with all of those files, papers from Google Docs and presentations from Google Slides. Yes, there are a bunch of other apps by Google, but I highly recommend starting with these to get you going. App 3 Password Managers Whether you do virtual or in-person school, sometimes keeping up with passwords and usernames can be kind of hard to keep up with. And using a password manager like Dashlane, NordPass, and 1Password can not only give you security but peace of mind. App 4 Socratic So there's this app called Socratic. Just download it. You're welcome. App 5, Google Calendar. Okay, so I probably should have mentioned this app during tip 2, but I didn't because you kind of use Google Calendar proactively. You more or less just use it to keep up with reminders, study groups, etc. Keeping up with deadlines is so important when it comes to school. I hate for you to get points taken away on an assignment because you forgot when it was due. You use Google Calendar to keep up with homework due dates, club meetings, after school practice, and the tests you really need to study for. App 6, Rate My Professor. So so this app goes out to all of the college students out there. Rate My Professor is a resource to find out about your soon-to-be professors or even your possible professors. Based on their reviews, you can know what to expect from the class, if your teacher typically runs late often, if your teacher extends the class way after the designated class time, if your teacher is ugly, if they round class grades up with tests and quizzes, how they rank among other teachers as well, and how your school ranks among other schools you may be looking to transfer to. And so much more and no this is technically not an app but it's definitely a helpful resource. Tip 7 easy vid writing papers can be a challenge and what's really aggravating after you've done that research and written your paper is compiling all of your sources on a reference sheet 
And then of course, formatting them in the correct way your professor is requesting is just another headache. It can be just as tedious and time consuming as writing the paper itself. But using EasyVib, things can get a bit easier. This app allows for you to easily use a photo of the barcode from the material you're referencing, for instance, the ISBN number, and then turns it into a full-fledged bibliographic reference. You can select from several reference styles like APA, MLA, and so much more. App 8 Backblaze. Sometimes computers crash, and sometimes when they crash, your hard drive on your computer gets wiped as well, leaving you with none of your computer files, just an empty blank shell. Even your computer wallpaper is gone. But what can fix this problem are apps like Backblaze. This app automatically backs up your entire hard drive. Your hard drive is safely uploaded onto Backblaze, a highly secure server. Not sponsored, I just thought it was really cool to mention, and of course, life saving. You can easily access your data whenever you need it. App 9 Quizlet. Quizlet is a game changer when it comes to studying. You can create your own flashcards or use the ones provided on the app. And of course you can study in several different ways with games, practice tests, and so much more besides using repetition with flashcards. Quizlet has several different modes to match your studying style and using Quizlet Plus allows for you to have personalized progress and other advanced features. App 10 Forest. Boost your concentration easily using focus apps like Forest. App notifications and technology is useful, yes, but it can also be incredibly distracting when you are trying to study, which is why I highly recommend using this app. It's a timer app that allows you to grow a virtual tree, but here's the catch. If you use certain apps like Candy Crush or Instagram, your virtual tree dies. As long as you don't touch these apps on your device, your tree and studying time will flourish. It may sound a bit silly at first, but using Forest allows for you to concentrate on what's actually important, like your upcoming test. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I just want to share the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from YouTube commenter Remarkably Lisa. Hashtag keep rising. Thanks so much for your comment, Remarkably Lisa. Want to be featured as the next comment of the day? Simply leave a comment on a YouTube video or leave a review on wherever you listen to podcasts. Now, back to the show. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them rise to be who they want to be. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now, let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap, just in case you missed an app. App 1, GoodNotes 5. App 2, Google Suite. App 3, Password Manager. App 4, Socratic. App 5, Google Calendar. App 6, Rate My Professors. App 7, EasyVib. App 8, Backblaze. App 9, Quizlet. And App 10, Forest. Do you want even more Rising to V in your life? Then join the Rising to V Patreon. It helps you support the channel and other forms of content. There's three tiers to choose from starting as low as four dollars so here's a breakdown of tier one you get access to the monthly wallpapers for your computer and phone to keep you motivated and inspired all month long you get to choose one monthly video topic and of course you get a patreon shout out in my next video Tier 2 has access to monthly wallpapers, you get to choose one monthly video topic, early access to videos, and of course a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 3 has access to the monthly wallpapers, they get to choose two monthly video topics and one podcast topic, early access to videos and podcasts, a Patreon shout out in my next video, and of course exclusive access to my printable collection from my Etsy store Rising to V. And it's only available through Patreon and Etsy, so this is something you really want to jump on. There are three tiers to choose from, I plan on adding even more as we go along. So I hope you'll consider joining the Patreon risers, keep rising to be who you want to be. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. I hope this episode was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review which tip you'll be using. Watch next week's episode early by joining my Patreon for exclusive and early access content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising to be. And remember to keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye, risers.